Clive, this is the IMK Kid 80, first MTA supply these in the UK. Why would you select a, a bar feed of, of this nature? Basically, people select this for short floor space in their factory. Uh, the preferred is the longer bar feeder for return on investment, but the short bar feeder is ideal for people in small factories with limited space. And, and the, the Kid 80, does that tell you what bar capacity this can actually go to? What size of bar? Yeah, this, this particular model is 5 mil to 80 mil. Uh, so it, again, it's dependent on the spindle of the machine, but uh, that's the class of it. And when we talk about bar feeds, do these come with options? Is it is there much you can have with a bar feed? How, how far does that go? Okay, well this one is, uh, there's a Kid 80 and there's a Kid 80 Plus, which have different software models uh, for sub-spindle mode and extras. You can have a touch screen, which is a straightforward plug-in. You can have actual shift and, and either axis for maintenance to the machine or for changing your spindle liners. When you say shift then, you mean kind of like rollers where you could move that? Yeah, there's an actual shift plate on the floor so you roll the bar feed away either in the Y axis across the machine or the Z axis away from the machine. And how many bars could you feasibly get in the back here? I know it depends on the diameter but is there a, a way of scoping that? Uh, there is a way of scoping it but it goes in millimetres so it depends on the, again on the diameter of the bars but and the weight of the bar of course so once you get up to 80 mil diameter 1.6 long you're, you're, you're down to about 8 or 10 bars of 80 mil diameter but at the smaller bars you're up to a, a lot more. Okay, and what about the integration with the machine tool? Does it matter what machine tool I've got? There's Salmon Engineering Company, I've got various brands. Can one of these be adapted to fit those or all? Yeah, any, any machine tool, the interface is straightforward, the electrical interface, we have all the parameters in the bar feeder to suit the machine, so we set them on, on the bar feeder itself. And then of course, there's just the mechanical parts which are attached to the back of the machine. And when, when, when we look at a bar feed, when we look at a machine tool, for example, there's lots of features and, and benefits to why you should buy one over the other. What, what is in the makeup of a bar feed that makes it different to a competitor? You know, what are the strengths of IMCA? Uh, the strengths is the research and development, and they've always got the operator in mind. So with all their short or long bar feeders, the ease of use is the number one thought. So they design everything around that. What, what about speed? Does that come into it as well? Speed of change over speed of bar moving? Yeah, absolutely. The, the feeding speed and the bar change of speed is critical, to be fair. Um, one second per component can save you thousands of pounds per year. That's what I was thinking. That's what kind of led me down this path. So how does the Kid 80 perform when it comes to the speed compared to others? Okay, so you can choose how you want to feed this bar fitter. You can either feed it without a bar stop or with a bar stop uh, or with the side of a tool if you haven't got room in your turret. The bar change over time is around about 20 to 22 seconds. Uh, the feeding time would depend on the system you have in your machine, but most people allow sort of four or five seconds for a feeding time. Okay, and what about the, the types of bar you can feed as well? Because bar doesn't just come in, in round diameters, does it? No, this, this is suited for hexagonal, round and square bar. And the beauty of this system is that it measures the bar as well. So the servo bar feeders measure the bar. So you don't have to have any special shaped spindle liners. You can just, just take across corners of whatever material you've got, standard liners. That, that's an interesting point, servo bar feed. I just want to go into that quickly because you can have a servo bar feed and one without a servo, I assume. Yeah, exactly. So servo are servo motors rather than any pneumatics or anything to do with the bar feed. So there's no pneumatics at all on this bar feeder. So everything's done electronically. And first MTA, you have a lot of success with these in the UK, the Kid 80? Yeah, the Kid 80, for some reason, the UK is the most popular bar feeder. The short, the short bar feeder in the UK is more popular with your customers. I don't know why. Uh, in Europe, you'll find the long bar feeder is much more popular. Well, well, this is one of the reasons we're here at the open house, because the, there is a lot of productivity gains to be had by going for a longer bar feed, isn't there? Exactly, and I've just written another article, which we'll be releasing soon on our website, about why you would choose a long bar feeder against a short bar feeder and the reasons why. But for this instance, if someone is looking, uh, they're restricted on floor space and they're looking for a short bar magazine, this could be uh, an option if you want to go for bigger bars as well. Absolutely, it's a perfect, perfect scenario.